All right, I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to uh, remove these uh, manual window cranks uh, from really any GM vehicle. I'm doing it on a uh, on a pickup truck, a 77 Chevy pickup truck, but they're all about the same on pretty much uh, any GM vehicle. So uh, first we'll get this off and then I'll kind of show you uh, the innards and how it actually attaches to uh, the uh, regulator arm. All right, what you're going to need is some kind of a, a little hook tool. Now you can kind of do this with like a really fat um, like paper clip or a really strong piece of wire. I'm, I'm using an actual little hooky type tool but you're definitely going to need something like this that has a little hook on the end. And there's a little clip in there and what you're going to do is you're going to get in there, hook it and pull it out. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like. You can push in on your door panel a little bit reach in there and grab it and it pops right out. So I've got the little clip and then the window crank arm just pulls right off like that. Okay so here's our uh, window crank lever removed from the uh, splined shaft of the uh, uh, the window regulator and this is the back side. This is what you're trying to get to with your little hooky tool. This little clip right there. You can see on the inside how it it, it clamps around a little machined uh, area around the spline shaft. So that's what I was doing when I was getting the hooky tool in there. You just get in there and you just kind of yank up on it and a little clip comes right out. So that's what I was doing getting it off and uh, now let me show you, uh, now that you got your old one off, let me uh, show you how to put your new one on. So getting your new uh, crank lever put back on is actually easier uh, than taking it off. You see here, I've already got it. I've already got the clip reinstalled. And if you look real close here uh, at the little crank, at the little spline crank, you'll see it's tapered. So that's why you put the clip on first, because the clip will actually slide over that tapered area. So you just put your uh, crank arm on there and just get it in the right position, and then just push, and you'll hear a little click, and it's installed. So putting a new one on is far easier than taking them off. So that's how you deal with these uh, crank levers on your old GM car. So I appreciate y'all watching and I hope this helped.